care everybody. Hello, what's up, everybody? It's Acell. Come to you guys another kind of game review video. I haven't done one of these in a while on the channel for the, uh, my TikTok and stuff. I'm going to upload this on Instagram and YouTube as well if I can. But damn, last night I just finished this game. I'm going through my backlog of gaming. So if you don't see me playing like newer recent games in a while, this is because I got, I got, I'm going to conquer this backlog, man. In 2023, I actually conquered a lot of games, I say. When I actually sat down and stopped playing games like uh, Overwatch and stuff from time to time, I still do, but not as much anymore. When I finally sat down and played Life is, Life is Strange, Life is Strange True Colors. This is my first Life, Life is Strange uh, game. I know about the other ones, but at the same time, I, mm, I never actually got a chance to play them. But after playing this, no lie, I want to check them out. By the end of it, the story had me hooked. The character Alex was so fun, and overall. The game was amazing. I literally stayed up and played it almost all the way straight through. It really starts to pick up after her brother's passing and you discovering pretty much the, the reason why that accident tend to happen. Basically, the whole game is about Alex. She has this ability to, I would say, kind of read emotions. And at the same time, by judging people's emotions, she learns more about them and why they're feeling that way. Uh, this is pretty interesting power because in some cases she actually sees the world through their point of view through their emotions So I like that a lot very different take on an ability such like a psychic ability to her Which is really cool. I don't know how the other, how the other games handle that But I'm a big fan of like story driven games and like big choices if you see me play Road 96 on my main YouTube channel or Detroit Become Human those are games I really picked up and like so Life is Strange I'm gonna check out the other ones as well but Alex seems to be a really cool character with the psychic ability being able to read people's emotions, kind of get more information out of them. Not like an interrogation thing. But basically, just know about the person. And also, see if any way you can help people. By the end of the game, towards the end of the story, uh, a lot of choices were made that I actually skipped out on. I didn't know that some of the dialogue options were available at the time. This is basically my first run into it. Like, towards the end, when you had to save... Well, not save, but basically... They gave you options throughout the story to help more of the uh, the villagers that lived in Haven. And if you didn't take those options during the story, they wouldn't help you during like the final climax of it, which is uh, pretty interesting. I only got at least two people on my side, which was Steph and the police officer Pike. But I did notice one thing about like, so at the end of it, you see people's uh, percentage and choices. Some like other games do that too, but no one liked Ryan in this game. <laughs> no, I kid you not. I looked at the percentage of like people who had chose Steph. Over Ryan, I'm like, yo, I feel that because I hated Ryan over towards the end of it, man. I didn't, I didn't go and say bye to that dude, screw that guy, man. A after what he did to me with the whole situation with Jed, I was like, you know what, skip this, man. But the game had great graphics, great voice acting, the music, was, the music choices were really good. I, sometimes I would just sit there and the main menu screen was like, yes, yeah, this, this is chill. I, I, I had that playing in the background now, I'm, I'm doing stuff like throughout the house but it was really good so music was really good graphics was really good story was amazing uh play i played it from start to finish i plan to actually get that stuff dlc maybe if i get around to actually buying the game so i'm actually rented it right now but damn if you guys haven't played life of strange true colors or any of the other titles um let me know let me guys know what you think about this one for, for real because this is actually awesome highly recommend it to people that haven't checked it out and uh, I think the game. I, th I think this came out 2023, but I could be wrong. If you didn't check it out last year, definitely check it out this year. What to say is a must play? You ain't got a must play, but really great game. That's all I gotta say about it though. Hey, say a sign out.